Hey everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Rayman games for the 360. Rayman Raving Rabbits is controversial among Rayman fans. A portion of the fans doesn't like the Rabbits games because it strays away from what Rayman is all about, refusing to even try to play the games. Others like it, others tried it but didn't like it. Rayman Raving Rabbits is a minigame collection. And it has a plot too, which makes the game great. I mean, usually in minigame collections, developers just throw in some minigames and call it a day. But here, you get a story too, which makes the minigames more cohesive to something. And also, the game distinguishes itself from other minigame collections by its personality. The game has humor. It's one of the few party games in which I had fun playing it alone. And by fun I mean I played it for hours and still had fun, and not just the first minutes I tried the game. And also, surprisingly, the controls feel good with the normal controller too. Sure, on the Wii they feel way better, because the game was intended as a Wii game. But I'm just saying that the controls are okay even with a controller. But I recommend the Wii version more. If you have the option of choosing between the PC and 360 versions or the Wii version, choose the Wii version. It's more fun, especially in parties. So especially if you play it with friends. Rayman Origins isn't just a game. It's art. It looks beautiful and plays beautiful. It's a side-scroller with lots of charisma and humor. The game gets challenging in the latter levels, which is great for hardcore Rayman fans. But one thing I didn't like in the game was the grinding. In the second half of the game, you are forced to repeat some levels in order to progress. But aside of this, the game is a masterpiece, with great gameplay, great and responsive controls, and especially, a unique and gorgeous art style. Rayman Legends is incredible. It's Rayman Origins Part 2. It brings new levels and the same creativity Origins had. In this one, you even have levels where you play in pairs. And if you play alone, you have a button assigned to your assist character to aid you solve puzzles. And it's great, it adds challenge to the gameplay as you have to guide Rayman around and watch out for your surroundings, for what's ahead, so that you can call your assist character to solve what's ahead. The game has the same fluidity as the other one. And if you play the game fast enough, the gameplay turns into a musical. And if we are at music, just like in the other one, it's amazing. Now because of copyright reasons, I can't show you how good the music is. But trust me, it's great. Just like the game as a whole. And also, Legends includes the best levels from Rayman Origins, which you can unlock with lottery tickets. Rayman Legends is a masterpiece, just like Rayman Origins. It manages to keep what was amazing in the first one and add more creative level designs and gameplay elements to keep the masterpiece formula fresh. The best way to summarize the rabbits alive and kicking is great graphics but bad controls and thus bad gameplay. Alive and Kicking is a mini game collection. And just like most Kinect games, it just doesn't feel right. There are mini games where the motion controls haven't been well integrated, and times where the motion controls look like a good idea, but they just don't work out to be fun. It's just too bad, it could have turned out into a fantastic game. And some mini games are actually fun. Too bad that there are more bad and boring ones than good ones. Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc is great. It's an action adventure. It's linear, you travel with Rayman, do platforming and get to do some combat. The combat consists of Rayman literally throwing his punches and avoiding the enemy's attacks. You get boss battles in the game, all of the levels look great. The only problem with the game are the camera that jumps on, on its own, showing you a portion of the map mid-battle, like, hey look, this part of the map looks beautiful, and you're like, shut up, I'm trying to fight here. And some of the level designs are hard to jump on, especially in the flashy mini-game that you'll have to do to progress in the game. But overall, it's a great game. 
Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.